Hey, welcome to this Windows and Computer channel. And of course, uh, I did talk about, you know, uh, Microsoft Edge for your Android and of course your um, iPhone or iOS device. And of course, Microsoft Edge on the um, side of the mobile device is actually an amazing browser. I use Google Chrome a lot and um, of course, because of the syncing capabilities it had. And, you know, on Android, it was one of the best browsers. But I've got to say, I'm actually really, really enjoying using Microsoft Edge. So if you go into your um, Android or the Google Play Store, if you have a Windows 10 PC, I think it's not a bad idea to try it out. Even if you don't, you know what? Try it out. You might be surprised. It is quite good as a browser on the mobile. So you go to your Google Play Store and just, you know, type... Microsoft Edge and search for it and you'll see that Microsoft Edge will pop up and you can actually install it. Once it's installed, of course, Microsoft Edge looks like this. This is the browser. This is basically the way that you can actually uh, work on your device with Edge. It has, of course, the bookmarks. It has everything you need, but there's a new feature that they've actually introduced. It's still not available apparently on iOS. But it is on Android. I updated my um, Edge browser. If you wish to have, of course, a ad blocker, uh, a lot of people use those. You know, I avoid them. I don't turn them on because I personally am paid by ads and I understand how valuable and how important this is. But um, you have the capability. If you go on the upper right corner, uh, little dots, and there you go, damn, and you'll see settings. In the settings, there's something called content blockers. If you click here, there's now this new feature. You can turn this on and it says that Adblock Plus is enabled in the Edge browser within Microsoft Edge on your mobile device. So you can add an ad blocker to Microsoft Edge and check out content. Um, you know what? Let's try something here. Let's go to Computer World which is one of the uh, websites that has a lot of ads and see if it actually did clean up computer world a lot. Yeah, look at that. No ads, just the uh, articles. It seems to be working quite well, actually. And let's uh, turn this off. Let's go back to settings. And let's go to content blockers. Let's turn it off. Let's just go back here. And let's reload the page. Did it change something? Uh, I don't see any changes right now. But oh yeah, there are some changes. Look at the ads and the stuff showing up here, which weren't there before. So it's taking a longer time to actually uh, update. Like there's an ad at the top. So it really works. It really works. So um, if you are using Microsoft Edge, um, but you know, don't forget to uh, maybe turn it off if you go to your favorite YouTube channel or your favorite website, you know. Uh, don't forget that ads support a lot of content. But uh, they have rolled it out. Simply go to settings. Go into uh, content blockers and turn on ad block plus if you wish to do so. So, uh, you know, it, it completes the uh, very, very nice browser that is already uh, Microsoft Edge on the Android device. It's a very fast browser, by the way. It is my top choice. Really, really my top choice. I like it a uh, hundred times more than using Google Chrome or anything. And if you use Windows 10, well, once again, you have uh, password syncing capabilities. You have, of course, your favorites syncing capabilities and all of that, which add to the um, device. And it, it renders the pages very, very well, too. So uh, check it out. I think you might enjoy using Microsoft Edge on Android, at least, and maybe even on uh, iOS. Uh, there are more than 5 million downloads now, which is pretty amazing when you think about it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you so much for following us on this channel.